State meteorologist Kate Bilo back with the latest on the storm's path and the area is expected to get the most snow tonight. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica and Yuki. Yeah, you can see the snow is here. It's mainly only off to the north and west, but what I want to show you here in Bethlehem, we just had a pretty heavy band move through there. It has lightened up a little bit right now. You can see the intensity has gone down a bit, but this is Main Street in downtown Bethlehem. This is a road that's treated, it's salted, it's brined, but it's still covered in snow very, very quickly. It's so cold outside that the snow is sticking. The second it falls, and roads are going to be snow covered overnight and again into tomorrow morning. The crews are out there, the plows are out there, but sometimes it just sticks quick, more quickly than you can get to it. So please be safe if you need to go out tomorrow morning. It is going to be a very slow Friday morning commute. Here's the storm, and again, you can see that coastal component. These two are starting to phase together just a bit. This is a bit of a slow process, so we're seeing the snow come in in our western suburbs. Have not seen anything around the city or the nearby suburbs yet. Also, South Jersey and Delaware dry for now, but you can start to see a band of snow developing near the Chesapeake Bay. This is all going to fill in, and then as the storm strengthens offshore overnight, we're going to see some steadier bands set up across South Jersey. Right now, the heaviest, that band that just went through Bethlehem, you can see it has now shifted north of Bethlehem. It was right along 22. Now it's up a little closer to Nazareth and Lehigh, heading up into the Poconos. We also have a pretty heavy band over Lancaster County and into western Chester County. So from Honeybrook down toward East Nottingham. It's snowing at a pretty good clip right now and getting close to Pottstown as well. Future weather again showing how this is going to start to really come together. We'll see this southern edge fill in. You can see that band of heavy snow north and west. It fills in in the middle. It's going to take a little time. Sometimes we see lower totals in this really the center zone. We have this heavy snow to the west, heavy snow to the east, and then the total's not quite as high if we get stuck in a little bit of a snow hole in Philadelphia. But 4 a.m., it is snowing at a good clip just about everywhere. That continues through 5 into 6 a.m., heavy bands down the shore, and then by about 8 a.m., this is out of here. So the area that's looking like it's going to get the most snow is across South Jersey. Once this fills in, that's where we could see some banding take place. You can see the darker shading here. Three to six inches of snow. There is the possibility of up to two inches per hour. In the city, again, it's going to take a little while to filter in. I think the city and nearby suburbs will end up with the lowest totals from this storm. You can see it's still not snowing that much here at 2.30 a.m., but it does eventually fill in, and we have a couple of hours of good snow, looking at about two to four inches, probably closer to two or three in the city. Now, I think the area that may overachieve a little bit are the spots north and west of the city that have already seen some snow, like the Lehigh Valley, two to four inches of accumulation with slick roads, ice, and snow. The biggest concerns with this storm, snow-packed roads tomorrow morning, very slow and slick morning commute. Then winds pick up on the back edge of this, could lead to possible power outages with gusts over 30 miles per hour. And by Saturday morning behind this storm, wind chills are near zero. Here's tomorrow evening winds again gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour. And then it turns very cold. Saturday morning, 17. It'll feel like about 9 with the wind chill, even colder in some spots. Very cold for the Eagles game Saturday night. Sunday's a little milder, but we could start the day with some freezing rain north and west, then just plain rain in the afternoon. And then the coldest air of the season arrives. No rest for the weary. Tuesday's high, just 28 degrees, and it's not much better Wednesday either. Mm -hmm. You get back to you. Okay, thank you so much.